Tom Crafter here. Today I'm going to be feeding the chickens that you remember from a couple of videos back. This is just getting her shoes on. Mine are already at the back door. Look at them. So gorgeous. But yeah, there's the watermelon. And um, we're just gonna pop our shoes on. So I'll get to you when you when we're at the bottom of the hill. Okay, so the neighbors are currently doing their lawn. Ours needs to be done. It hasn't been done like half a month, so yay. But here are the chickens, big as ever. Um, actually, we have a rooster mixed in here. Connor, we, we think, actually. We think we have a rooster in here. Because the chicken's feathers, demonstrated by Mohawk right here, just go straight up. But then there's, where is them? Ah, right over here. Don't know if you can see her or him, but if you look, his or her tail feathers curve a bit down. Which has happened to that one as well, so we're not... I'm starting to think that's just the breed, but here we are feeding them the watermelon. Here you go. Yes, they are going crazy over that. You should see them with grapes. <laughs> I'm actually going to do that sometime for you guys. Just look at them. They're going crazy. Oh my god. Mohawk is trying to stand on the bucket, but she's more sitting in it. Oh, speaking of sitting in things. Here you go, chickens. I'll put that down for you. Gotta make sure none of you guys are in the way. Okay, move, chicken. There we go. Well, they couldn't reach it. But, as you can see right there, they've dug a nice little hole and Petunia has kindly marked a territory. But, they've dug like, probably like a five inch deep hole and at its longest, like a foot. So, I'm thinking of digging a tiny little hole in their new coop, which by the way, we're starting to make. It's, it's coming along pretty nice. We have their water system. It's just gonna go right on through there. This little hole that we have right here. It's gonna go through there. And there's a drip on it. Is there any water in here? No, hardly anything. So, that's their water system. It's just gonna drip right into there and into a little thing, like a pop bottle, a two liter pop bottle that we cut up. But, yeah. Um, and that's also gonna drip down there into a little tub thing. So then they can have baths in water because chickens have de dust baths. Keeps the ticks off, but yeah. And then here's their feeding hole. Uh, this little pipe thingy dewey is gonna be hooked up, so all we have to do is pour their feed into it, and it'll go down into their feed. And then here's the hatchery. We haven't gotten any doors up yet, but when they do start laying eggs, we just open it up, grabs grab the eggs, put them in a basket, be on our way. Oh, after closing it, by the way. And yeah, their, um, their total coop area is probably bigger than that by like a foot or two. I know that their coop itself is probably bigger than that lengthwise. They don't need as much height as they have on this one. But yeah, this one was pretty much just like 
throw it together, we'll build another one. But yeah, we're gonna have chickens for like ever now. Not yet, but once we're sure if uh, the one chicken is the rooster, we'll have to have a chicken dinner. So, no, Connor, not we're not for doing that. that to the rooster. We're, we're gonna sell it for a different chicken. Okay, sorry. Correction, we are selling the chicken if it is a rooster. And then we can get a different one. Hey, you want, there you go. <laughs> like, watermelon, safe for eating. Although not after it's been in that bowl, that's like one of their feed bowls. Here you go, chicken. All the way back there. Eh. Hit her feet. I hit Cinnamon's feet. Sorry, chicken. Oh my god. So guys, I just found a grape. They go crazy over grapes. Watch this. Throw, oh. Throw the grape in, and they go crazy over it. Like, when there's tons, they're just running all over the place. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, no, huh? But, yeah. A couple uh, other updates, I guess. I don't know. We have a proper door instead of just fence draping over an opening. And, yeah. Their entire coop width, um, width is probably only about a foot or two less than right he along here. And then their length, that's probably like five meters, probably. And then their length over here, maybe only f three, three and a half, four meters, probably. So yeah, their their new chicken coop is really big. But you guys can you guys leave me some comments of like ideas of what I should do? Like I really wanna you know live up to my potential, okay guys? So just like leave me some comments of ideas of what I should do. Not only for just the coop, but for my channel. Okay guys? That would be awesome if you did. So, yeah. Signing off. I don't know why I said that, but saying goodbye with chickens. Chickens, are you going to say goodbye? Say goodbye, chicken. Chicken, say goodbye, please. Goodbye. I don't know.